ITR boxing. You heard it here first. Pretty cool videos. And I heard they're also in HD. ITRboxing.com. Ask you some questions. I, I that I just... get, I'm not going to get the decisions. You know what I mean? And I figured that out the hard way. No, I, I know directly what you're talking about. I got to ask you a question. A couple questions about your past. Um, I never saw the Nelson Julio Tapia fight. That was an 11 round fight in the Dominican Republic. What the heck happened in that fight? Because you win the fight, it's a majority decision. I'm just curious what that fight was like. Which fight? How uh, you were breaking out the uh, question? Nilson Julio Tapia. Yes, man. And that's one of the greatest fights no one ever saw. And I, I've been trying to find film of that fight uh, for a while. Yeah. I uh, I had to come off my toes and start going after him because uh, he started getting ahead on the cars a little bit in the beginning. And he, like I said, he was bigger than I even expected. So I had to just, you know, put my hands up, head movement, and, and bang the body out. And I ended up the second half of the fight, Dominic and I find the I was a great fight no one saw. I knew that they were trying. Now, mind you, I've, I've had numerous times where they try new stuff or during my fight. For instance, with Canelo, that open scoring nonsense <laughs> was something new that they threw in. Um, and for this fight, they were saying, well, we're trying not to have any draws. So they're not, you know, in, in order to try not to have any draws, they uh, put it to an 11-round fight. So that way, you know, it's kind of hard to have a draw, but as you know, they can they can make the scorecards however they want. Yeah, it's, it's weird how the judges come to these scores sometimes, and I think that you have a – I'll be honest with you, you got the perfect style to be robbed. You're a guy who's slick and moves a lot, and you might not be the, the quote-unquote knockout puncher, and if a guy's accumulating some points, you're going to be in swing round fights. Exactly. Like they're not going to give me the, well, they stopped looking at ring generalship. They stopped looking at defense. They stopped looking at a effective punching and they kind of just started only looking at aggression, not effective aggression, but aggression. And uh, I think some of these judges just need to uh, one box, but two, go look at the old fighters in the old days and see what, what made them special. And it wasn't just because they could sit there and punch. That was great, but they had to set it up. They had to, to you know what I mean, get busy. And, and the ring generalship and the ring IQ that those guys had, we definitely don't exhibit that in this days, but that's because the judges don't appreciate it.